this series of short videos, we'll be taking a look at some of the aspects of the design of timber framing for a residential building. One of the Australian standards relating to this topic is AS 1684, Residential Timber Framed Construction. This Australian standard deals with all of the timber co components in a timber framed building up to two storeys high and with certain limits on the dimensions, the roof pitch, etc. If a component falls outside of this code, then Australian Standard 1720, Timber Structures, or AS 4100, Steel, or another Australian Standard might need to be referred to. AS 1684 comes in four parts. The first part deals with how the values used in the span tables and the other parts have been derived. Parts two and four of AS 1684 deal with non-cyclonic loads. Part four is a simplified version. Part three of this Australian standard deals with the design of timber framing in cyclonic areas. Generally speaking, AS 1684 deals with class one and class 10 buildings as defined in the Building Code of Australia. That is houses and other residential dwellings, which may be brick veneer or timber framed, weatherboard clad or fibro clad buildings or non-habitable structures such as sheds and carports. AS 1684 has different tables for different wind classifications also for different stress grades, for seasoned versus unseasoned timber. And each set of tables includes a span table for every timber member that you might need to design in a timber framed house. Timber that is milled is classified into different grades so that a designer can choose the appropriate grade or strength that is required for a particular member in the timber frame. Milled timber is graded according to usually one of two different methods in Australia. These being visually graded or machine grade. Visually graded timber is exactly that. A person will look at the piece of timber, at the number of knots, at the number of other defects in it, the slope of the grain according to how it's been cut, and assess what grade the piece of timber should be stamped at or classified as. That grader will put a stamp on the piece of timber, like this, which will indicate the strength of the timber according to grade. The stamp on the piece of timber will generally indicate how that piece of timber was graded, whether visually or machine graded, the stress grade of the timber, whether it's seasoned or unseasoned, the species, and also the name of the milling company. It will also generally include the Australian standard that's been used uh, for the grading method. Machine grading is used for some species of pine. The piece of timber is passed through a machine which bends the timber and assesses its stiffness. As the piece of timber passes through the machine and the machine assesses the stiffness, it will squirt a colour of paint on the piece of timber. So there may be several different colours along the piece of timber indicating the stiffness. The stiffness of the timber piece will be the lowest value that's been squirted onto the piece of timber. The F number on this piece of timber, F8, indicates that it has a safe working stress of 8 megapascals. For machine grading, the value that's determined is called the modulus of elasticity. This gives a different number to the F grade, but it's still an indication of the strength of the timber. So this piece of timber, which is MGP10, its modulus of elasticity would be approximately 10,000 megapascals. As a designer, you would need to specify the F grade or the MGP grade of the timber making sure that it's the right strength for the particular application. It's important to understand what the F grade means for a piece of timber and its strength, but it's not important to know how it was derived. 
Different species of timber tend to fall into different F grades. Hardwoods tend to have higher F grade values than softwoods, although that's not always the case. This table gives an idea of what range of F values exist or are available for different timber species. The hardwoods are in the shaded region and the bottom two are softwoods. That concludes our video on timber frame construction and timber grading. Our next video will talk about some of the timber framing elements in a timber framed house using a model of a timber framed building.